Okay, for my first Pinterest test, I'm going to try to clean this cookie sheet with two methods. One is going to be um, a baking soda and hydrogen peroxide method, and another is going to be baking soda and vinegar um, method. And then in both methods, you can use a sponge, according to Pinterest. Um, some buddy recommended a piece of foil balled up. So I'm going to try um, with the piece of foil balled up and see what happens. And here's my um, overly used cookie sheet. You know, we've all have cookie sheets that turn into this at some point. Um, so we're going to see. We're going to see if either of these methods work and go from there. Um, I am wearing gloves because my hands are severely dry right now and I don't know if any of these will burn um, because it is a chemical, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be safe and wear these gloves. Um, the internet says to use a quarter cup of the baking soda for each one of these methods. I'm not gonna use that much. I'm just gonna use a, a sampling of it, um, maybe like a tablespoon or whatever, and then you just add enough of the uh, liquid products to make a nice paste. Um, it didn't say how pasty, it just said to make a paste. So, I'm just going to add baking soda to... Okay, hold on. We're going to add a little bit of baking soda, it's about a tablespoon, to that bowl. And then I'm going to add... I'm trying to clean this pan. We're going to see if this works. And then I'm going to add... Um, about a tablespoon to this other bowl and we're gonna go from there um, next I'm just going to take the hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to dump some into the bowl on the left and I'm gonna start with a spoon so I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit I don't know what's gonna happen to this this might bubble I don't even know we'll see. and right now it's not doing anything but sitting there I'm gonna make a Paste. I would say that's more liquidy than pasty, so I might need to add a little bit more baking soda to that. I'm just going to sprinkle it in. We'll just go from there. If it works, it works, right? That was about another tablespoon. do another little bit in there. I just want it to be um, pasty. There we go. Now we're getting pasty. So I had about three tablespoons of baking soda and just a little bit of a little bit of um, peroxide in that bowl. And now we have a, a, a good bit of a paste there. And then to the other bowl, I'm going to add a tiny bit of vinegar. I'm going to rinse this spoon so we don't have any kind of mixing here. Um, this is the peroxide bowl. And now I'm going to take a little bit of this vinegar and put that in this bowl a tiny bit. Hopefully I can pour a little tiny bit. Okay, and that one's seriously fizzing. Okay, I'm going to mix that and make a little paste in that. This one's a little bit more pastier than the other one. Let's add a little bit more liquid. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar to this bowl because it's kind of dry. And here we go, fizzing, fizzing. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe this one here will be the winner because it's fizzing. I don't know. We'll see. All right, that's pretty good. Now we have two two bowls of chemical mixes here. This one's the vinegar. This one's the peroxide. And now I'm going to ball up my aluminum foil and go from there. I'm going to rinse this spoon off so we don't get that in the way. Balling up the aluminum foil into a nice circle so it has edges. I think you want it to be uh, crumply so it kind of uses like a Brillo pad out of it. 
and then I'm going to take, I'm just going to use my hand, and I'm, I'm just going to dump this one here, actually. Maybe, maybe not, it's pasty, so I'm going to use my hand, and I'm going to smear this vinegary baking soda onto this half of the pan. So far, I'm not seeing any big things happening. Okay, I'm going to rinse my hand to there so I don't mix the chemicals. And on this half, I'm going to do the same thing. Smear this one here, like so. A little bit more. Alright, that's my crock side one is on the left. Vinegar one is on the right. Um, I'm going to scrub this with the or the uh, aluminum foil. Let's see if I can prop this up. Okay, I'm not seeing anything really happen to this. I'm really forcing I'm, I'm scrubbing really hard, and I, I guess, I guess actually to scrub it really hard, maybe a little bit is coming off of, of the pan. I'm scrubbing this pan. Um, a little bit came off. So maybe if you scrub really hard and do this for a while, it will actually get cleaner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try this with the back side side. I'm getting the same, pretty much the same results. Yeah, same results. Um, I'm going to put this down for a second and keep on scrubbing this, and then I'm going to come back when the result's finished. Okay, here is my pan after being scrubbed by both chemicals on the left and on the right. Um, the right-hand side was the vinegar and baking soda mixture, and on the left was the peroxide and baking soda mixture. Um, in the middle, really didn't get scrubbed too much. There wasn't a whole lot of chemical put in the middle. Um, but I think the left side is clearly the winner. Um, that would be the hydrogen peroxide solution with the baking soda. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this Pinterest test is a good one. It's not a fail. It definitely passed my test as far as the hydrogen peroxide scrubbing method. Um, I would say that the vinegar and baking soda method um, isn't, I mean, it does do a, a little bit, you know, it does take a little bit off, but the peroxide seemed to be a lot easier, and um, in the beginning of this test, I really thought the vinegar and baking soda was going to do a better job because it did fizz when I mixed the two together, and I thought it would, you know, kill this stains off better, but nope, peroxide and baking soda is the winner, along with that balled-up piece of tin foil. Um, stay tuned for the next Pinterest-tested uh thing we do. Um, I'm not sure what, what I'll do. It might have something to do with the oven. Um, if you have any Pinterest things that you want me to test and see if they work, uh, comment below and feel free, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.